Hi Booktube. This is going to be a bit of a quickie just to talk about two absolutely knockout works um, by women novelists um, uh, and in translation that I've read in the last week. And you know when you get those weeks when when suddenly you're reading five star book after five star book um it's unusual for me um but this has absolutely been that kind of week and these two were kind of top of the pile which shall i start with i'm going to start with boulder by eva balthazar um current because it um she was on the short list for the international booker prize didn't win, but I know some people felt she should have done. And my goodness, I haven't read the book that did win, um, Time Shelter, um, by Gos Gos Gospidov, Gospidov, a Bulgarian author. But that must be unbelievably good if it beat this, as far as I can say. Um, so, and oh, I should mention the translator, Julia Sanchez, and what a very fine translation it is. This book is stunning. I, I, I really think um, it's not it's not a nice book. Um, I don't mean it's like horrid, but I mean, you know, it's not a cuddly book. It's it's quite a harsh book in a way, although it's actually about love. So the um, protagonist um, is uh, in some ways she's a very strong, quite fierce character Um but also quite, I don't know, out of kilter with the world. And she um, seeks out jobs that kind of take her away from society and, and is the, the chef on a, a, a commercial um, ship, um, you know, cooking for the crew and so on. And then she meets someone and she falls into sex and then falls into love with um, uh, this woman. And they kind of become a couple. They live together in um, Chile, where the book starts. But then she moves with this, um, this with her, her, her partner to Iceland, where she's a bit of a fish out of water, but she settles in and then her partner decides that she'd like to have a baby. And that really throws the cat amongst the pigeons. And I guess what I liked about this book, no, there's many things I liked about this book. Um, but one of the things I liked about this book is, you know, it's about it's about a relationship. It's about, in a sense, it's about marriage and the compromises that you make and how you kind of move from perhaps, you know, lust to love to um, a long-term relationship where it, it, it all becomes, I don't know, the, it, it, I don't think it's too much of a spoiler to say that, you know, the, the, um, the, the protagonist, um, whose nickname is Boulder, um, doesn't want to have a baby. But sometimes you have to do things because that's what the, your, your partner wants. And she does. And yeah, it then really looks at how life changes when you have a small baby. And I think that those uh, it, those issues around relationship and the the bombshell that a baby brings into, uh, you know, your first child brings into any relationship are really kind of universal. And uh, yeah, Balthazar expresses those really, really well. The other thing that I love about this book is the, the writing. You know, it's really kind of, I think the word is vigorous. I devoured this book, literally devoured it in sort of desperate, feverish, intense chunks um, every spare moment that I got um, over 24 hours. And, you know, those were like busy work days, but I still managed to like, I couldn't resist getting back to this group work again and again. It's like it kind of burnt its way through my day, like a, a comet or a shooting star or a flamethrower, even, I would say. I really can't 
yeah, recommend it too highly. If if you don't like your 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 characters to be, I don't know, lovable and cuddly. If that one was a flamethrower of a book, I think this one is a pool, a pond in a in a dark wood. You know, it, it's 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 the opposite in many ways, and yet similar in that it's a short, very intense, deeply engaging and fascinating um, book with the most beautiful prose again, and a what a fine translation. So this is by Han Can. It's translated by Deborah Smith and Emily Ye Won. Um, Han Can, you might know for The Vegetarian. I thought this was even better, um, Greek Lessons, even better. The Again, it has a kind of quite a, it has a female protagonist who is out of kilter with the world, you know, doesn't quite fit with society. And she is a selective mute. And, um, but as I say, unlike this one, this is a book that is slow, slow, but not boring, slow, but the kind of book where you need to pause and think, I've just got to get some of these ideas here. You know, that if I read this too fast, I'm going to miss some of the layers of, of, of meaning here because it's about perception, it's about our interaction with the world and other people, it's about sight and sound, and it above all, um, it's about language and how language shapes our understanding of of things and emotions there's a there's a bit of plato in it a bit of buddhism but it's also got it's also got a storyline and and and, a, and relationship the relationship between her and her um uh mother the, and the relationship between her and the other protagonist who's the um the teacher of her greek lessons so from from should be obvious it's from korea shouldn't it I again, I, it's a book that I would very highly recommend if you like a book that is um, more about ideas perhaps than character or plot, but does have plot and does have characters. I saw a, um, a Scott of Gunpowder Fiction and Plot um, reviewed this on Goodreads and gave it one star and said that the characters were completely unbelievable. And I couldn't, I, I love Scott, but I couldn't disagree more. The, the the female protagonist in this was a completely convincing, fully realised character for me. The other protagonist, the the the, the man, the, the 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 Greek tutor, slightly less so, but not you know, still a satisfying character. So, and the 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 bit parts, you know, the family members, yeah, really rich and complex. So I. What were you talking about, Scott? Loads of nonsense. So, two really excellent books uh, that um, are worth, they're short and they're worth anyone's time who's happy to read a book that's a tiny bit out of out of the ordinary, you know, a, a little bit of a risk, but not, um, not wildly um, and unnecessarily experimental and who really appreciates kind of finely honed style and language there we go have you read them tell me what you think uh, do you, am i deluded in 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 either of them you know do you would you agree with scott instead and you know did you hate this and and think that the other book was a, the rightful winner of the um, book two prize i'm sure it's very good i should i should probably read it if you read time shelter tell me more about that too and uh yeah enjoy your reading <laughs>